Hello folks, this is Joe from My Geek Scene. I'm at Grand Con 2016. I'm standing here with Mark of the Grand Gamers Guild Publishing Company and two special guests, which we'll get to in a moment. Mark, how are you doing today? I am fantastic. Grand Con is going really well and I'm super excited to be doing an interview about uh, my next great project. Yeah, for those who don't know, Mark actually is one of the co-founders of Grand Con, so yeah. But <laughs> please tell us about the Grand Gamers Guild Publishing Company. Uh, Grand Gamers Guild is my next step into the world of board and card games. Uh, we're a brand new publishing company based in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Uh, very first game we're putting out is a card game called Unreal Estate. And I am super excited to have my designer and my artist here with me. Thank you guys for being a part of this. Thank you. This Thank is you. Jason and this is Corinne. Jason is the guy who created the game. And this is Corinne, the no stranger to my geek scene, artist extraordinaire. <laughs> How are you two doing today? Fantastic, fantastic. Good, yeah. absolutely. Most excellent. Well, before we go into um, about the game itself, I do have to ask this question. What was your first exposure to gaming? Oh my gosh. Um, my first exposure to gaming as it stands today was way back in 2005. I had a gentleman, a friend I met through a professional networking group, and I mentioned that I was a gamer, and he came up and he said, there's this convention called Origins, and you really should go. And I went, and it was like, the world exploded. It was unbelievable. What about you, Jason? Uh, the same thing happened to me with Gen Con. I went to Gen Con for the first time in 2004 uh, and realized that there were all these other games that weren't mass market games that were different. And, uh, and that, that I caught the design bug from that, realizing that there, there were these different kinds of games out there. And I, I started designing uh, way back then and didn't get real serious about it until, uh, gosh, about 2012. So OK. Yeah. Yourself, Corinne? It was Grand Con. Okay. Yes, uh, I, I wonder where I like, <laughs> first started meeting you and whatnot. So, yes. yes. Yep, exactly. Awkward it's conversation will ensue once JFAX, again. JFAX, but then I saw you again at Grand Con. Yes, yeah. I did run into you first at JFAX and like, yeah. but this isn't even about our game. And like, <laughs> look, we go back. Yes. But nonetheless, now we're here to talk about your game. Please tell me about Unreal Estate, Jason. Sure. All right, Unreal Estate, it's, uh, it's a card game. Um, and it, the idea is that you're a city planner in a fantasy city, and you are trying to build the most unique city possible. Um, so to do that, you're drafting cards, uh, and then you're playing them to, uh, to match cards that have been thrown to the scrap pile that nobody wants. Um, and you're scoring points based on how many are in the scrap pile and how many you can play in your hand. Uh, and at the end of the game, the person with the most points wins. Uh, to make that even a little more tricky, we have special cards that allow you to take actions that break the rules of the game and let you kind of alter how the game works and, and that sort of thing. So it's really fun. It's a, it's a very quick game. Uh, plays two to four players and is, uh, yeah, it's, a, it's easy to learn, but it's got a lot of strategy and a lot of replay value because of the specialty cards. Okay. And worst case, you could just stare at the art. So. Yes, which we'll get to in a moment. But I do have to ask about like uh, some of the strategy cards and whatnot. Sure. Um, are there like cards to sabotage the other players, like surprise tax audit? You know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there are cards like the Thieves Guild, for instance, that allows you instead of drafting a card from this proposal board where you're mostly getting cards, to instead take a card from the player's hand, or a card called the Airship, which lets you reach into the scrap pile and uh, and take cards out of there instead. Um, ah, okay. So yeah, so there's a lot of a uh, lot of cool things you can do with that um, to try to manipulate the gameplay. But once again, I have a uh, artist extraordinaire, Corinne Roberts, standing next to me. How did you choose her as your artist? Um, well, I think I can speak to that. So we, uh, when Mark and I first talked about the game, it was actually a modern day uh, s the game that was about building a modern city, and you were trying to build the hippest city. Um, and uh, the first thing Mark said was, what do you think of putting this in a fantasy world? And we started talking, and it was like, what do you think about Corinne Roberts doing the artwork? And we both were really excited about that idea. Uh, and I think within a couple days, Corinne was already on board uh, to, to work with us. Yeah, I literally called her from the table we were sitting around <laughs> that night. And I got a voicemail, which drove me batty. But then I called her midday the next day, or arranged to call you midday the next yeah. day. I'm like, we have to talk. Yes. And, uh, you know, within probably 30 minutes, she was on board. She's like... Are you sure you want me? And, well, if you've seen her art, who doesn't oh, it's want amazing. Corinne's art? I'm, I'm glad you were uh, nice enough to pencil them in just to talk to with your busy <laughs> schedule. <laughs> but my question was, what was your artistic approach towards this? Um, well, pretty much what he told me to do. <laughs> that was, like, the start no, no, of no, it. No, 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 That's not like fair. <laughs> that's not fair. So, so the, the game is building-based, right? And Jason came up with the buildings. And... You know the energy, if you know Corinne's art, you know the vibe that she has. 
and I knew that was the energy I wanted, the lines, the, the way it looks like it's moving, even though it's a still image, and the whimsy that's there. And so we gave her a checklist of buildings, and she sketched up a couple different versions, and it was like, can we make two games? Because <laughs> each building was equally fantastic, but we you know, beat ourselves and, and came down to a decision, and uh, those will be the ones that appear in the final game. But there will also be an art book with the alternate sketches, yes. so um, it, it's gonna be awesome. Them. Yeah. I think one of the things I know we always asked ourselves when you and I would talk about the art and which one to choose of the sketches, if it was a tie, we always came back to which one is most Corinne-like, yeah, which yeah, one yeah. has your twist on it, and that is what we would go with because, okay. because we wanted to, to have more of that, right? That was the point of using you as an artist. So I don't know if we've ever told you that before. No, but you hey, didn't. There you no, I was like, how did they get picked? <laughs> yep, you know, that was so. that was whenever there was a whenever it was a tough choice. That's what we would always come back to. Is, oh, good. This one looks more like Corinne. You style. did end up picking my favorite, so I'm glad that awesome. you nailed that. Speaking yeah. of which, which is your favorite? Because I was about to ask that. You're like a psychic. Out of the not the special card. Right, right. No, okay. Out of the uh, regular set is the Wizard Tower. Yep. Yeah, so absolutely. Yeah. Okay. And is this game completed, or is it? The game is done. The game is going to be on Kickstarter um, beginning, what is it, the 20th, Tuesday, September 20th. Uh, the campaign will run for 30 days. Uh, the base deck of cards is all set and done. Some special cards are all set and done. As with most Kickstarters, there are stretch goals, and there can be up to 14 more cards in the game, upgrades of all different kinds. Every piece is absolutely unbelievable. And, but yes, it is a complete game, mechanically sound, incredibly beautiful and just ready to rock and roll. All right, and if people wanted to find out more about this game online, where could they go? Sure, uh, we have a Facebook page, so facebook.com slash grandgamersguild, and also um, grandgamersguild.com. Okay, well folks, this is Joe from my geek scene with Mark of the Grand Gamers, grandgamersguild.com, and Jason of Corinne, and Corinne of Unreal Estate. Take it easy. Thanks.